All right, let's talk about line plots. Uh, line plots are a way to share your data with people. Um, and we're gonna be practicing this for the next couple of days, but I wanted to show you some examples of line plots. They're very similar to a bar graph, um, but I wanna show you some examples, so check this out. So here's a question from the IXL that you're gonna be working on today. Please notice it's a third grade IXL, um, just to get warmed up. And we're interpreting, the word interpret means reading the line plots. Um, so here's a line plot right here. They have the Livingston Senior Care Center kept track of how often its residents got to visit relatives last year. So here's the title, visiting with relatives last year. Here's the x-axis right here, number of visits. What you'll notice that's different about this graph is that there's no y-axis. Um, and a lot of times when we have graphs, you'll see a line going this way and you'll see um, numerical num like this is one, this is two, all the way up the side. That's the, the y-axis. Line graphs don't need those or line plots don't need those. They have the x's to share that numerical data. So number of visits, some people didn't have any visitors. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six people had no visits. Um, the most number of visits was five, and one, two, three, four, five people had five visits. So this is the most number of visits, the least number of visits. What's tricky about line plots is sometimes you'll get questions that ask, what did most people have? And when they ask most people, they're asking for this data point. So this is the tallest pile of X's, that would be number two. So, well, let's check out the question they're, they're wondering this time. How many residents visited with relatives at least two times? Really have to be careful about the words on this. At least two times means two or more. So anything with two or bigger, because at least two, the words at least mean that. So then you have to count up all of these pieces. What's tricky about that is um, the X's are so small, they're tough to count. But we do screenshots and then you can zoom right in. A lot of kids like to use their screenshot tool on this one. And then they can even mark each X as they go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And you find your answer that way. So just a little heads up, a little screenshot will help you on this one. Here comes another question, different data set. Um, students in Mrs. Adams' math class guessed a number one through five and recorded their results. So they're sharing their data with us. Again, the x-axis is right here, one through five, because those are the numbers they could choose. Um, these are the numbers guessed. Which number was guessed the most times? So they're asking which number did most kids guess? They're asking for the largest pile of data here, which happens to be number two. What's confusing about that is they might ask, what's the highest number guessed? Well, the highest number guessed is five, but the most kids guessed two. So the reading on that is, is kind of tricky. Here's another question slightly different here a soccer coach asked the team how many times they played soccer last week and here's the title playing soccer last week here's the x-axis some kids did zero all the way through five that's how many times they played how many people are there in all what they're asking there is how many people did the coach talk to well to find that information you actually have to count you got to zoom in here and count how many x's there are total there is one X for each data point for each person. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 people on this team. This particular question was asking in all, how many people were there? So really have to pay attention to the words in the reading here. Um, and then this question here, another set of data, some students compared how many pairs of boots they own. Here's your title, pair of boots. Here's your x-axis, number of pairs of boots, and it's either zero, one, two, or three. How many students own more than two pairs of boots? 
So the word more means they're not asking for two, they're asking for more than two, which in this case would just be the three column. So you would have to count just the X's here on the, on the X axis. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six people earn three or more. Um, and here's a couple more questions to share with you. A game show, show program recorded the score of its contestants. So here's the score on a quiz show. Um, their score is either between five and 10. That's the range of their data. Which score did the fewest people receive? So they're not asking for the smallest score in this one or the lowest score. They're asking which one had the least number of X's on it. And in this case, that's five because the, the X, there's only one person scored that. Now, if they asked which did the most people receive, they'd be asking for nine because it's got the highest number of X's on it. So the most people earn that. They may also ask what's the highest score. And that, in that case, that's 10. So really the reading is the trickiest part on these questions. I'm hoping this um, video helped and um, your job today is to finish up IXL third grade U19.